This is Carol Levin Today. Our next guest has gone undercover to help find the best furniture stores in the country. Jennifer Litwin is sharing her secrets in two new books, Best Furniture Buying Tips Ever and Furniture Hotspots. It's our pleasure to welcome Jennifer to the show. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you for having me. You have kind of a fascinating story about how you yes. ended up doing this. You were just a mom, not that that's just a mom, but you were right. a busy mom. Busy mom. A busy mom. My husband and I had bought our first house, and we had to fill it up with furniture. It was a small little house, but in traveling to all these stores, we found that it was really hard to know what the right thing was to look for, what to ask for, yeah. and we didn't know if dealers were being honest with us. I found out that the home furnishings industry is a $71 billion unregulated industry, wow. and I decided to to make it easier for other busy people by traveling across the country and reviewing over 500 stores undercover to see what retailers were doing. So you were like a secret shopper. Secret shopper. I thought it was interesting too that a lot of times the salespeople didn't really know what they were talking about when you would ask a question they oh, would yeah. just kind of say anything. Right when I interviewed five of the top nation's top retailers and for the best furniture buying tips ever I found that 95 percent of their answers were incorrect <laughs> on really basic questions questions like what amazing. what's the difference between a $1,000 couch and a $5,000 couch? Well now what is the difference when you pay more? Because sometimes we think oh I'm going to pay as much as I can and mm -hmm. it'll last forever. Is well, that true? Well first of all a lot of the well-known designers, people buy designer names, but just like with fashion furniture designers today are manufacturing a lot in Asia. Their manufacturing process has changed and just like with fashion designers these people are designing different product lines so it's much more important to look Look for quality. Okay. Well, you have some great tips that come directly out right of your book, book, and I, we we're going we're gonna to put them up on the screen for folks, too. But I didn't even know, here's how I feel stupid about this, I didn't even know there was a warranty issue, and you talk about that. Explain what that right. is. When I review products for Consumer's Digest, we are not allowed to review any stores that do not offer a written warranty that goes above and beyond the manufacturers. Most of the big retailers today aren't really offering a good warranty policy, but because, again, the furniture is being made, a lot of it abroad, you want to know that if you buy something and it breaks, falls apart, isn't what you thought it was, was supposed to be, mm -hmm. as represented by your salesperson, that you can return it and that the store will make it good. Okay, so get that warranty. Now what about, uh, I didn't know this either, when you order something that's going to come to you down the line, that a lot of times, six months from now, they won't even be making that furniture. Right. Most of the furniture today that you actually buy has already been discontinued. How can that be? It's that crazy make sense. because just like with fashion, you know, you shop at the Gap and you oh, know that it's, it's going to go on sale and you're going to have to buy something new for the next season. Okay. You, have to do the same. you also need to think about shipping, delivery, and assembly because you might yes. find out you're assembling it in your home or something. That's right, Ruth. Today, 65% of all furniture has to be assembled by you. Oh, okay. And that can take hours or days and it can cost a lot of money. I bought a desk yeah. for my son for $75 mm -hmm. and it came in about 30 pieces and I had to hire a carpenter to, to oh, no. put it together yeah. for us. Okay, and finally, what are the materials? When you look at something, like mm -hmm. you say, a cherry finish oftentimes, right. people think, oh, that's wood, and it isn't sometimes. Absolutely. A lot of the tags, again, because the furniture is coming often from a foreign country, may not actually tell you what are the true materials of, of the piece. Okay. And so you want to ask for that to be put in writing. Okay. We're sitting here in this beautiful living room. Right. Uh, what are some of the trends? that people should think about when they go furniture shopping. What are you seeing? Well, we're seeing a lot of furniture. Ethan Allen, this is all furniture from Ethan Allen. It's beautiful. Uh, a wonderful retailer that really has a wonderful warranty policy. We're finding a lot of stores are charging a flat fee for shipping or they're waiving sh shipping charges to induce people to buy at their store. Like Pier 1 uh, offers an $80 flat fee oh. for however many pieces you buy. Ethan Allen will mm -hmm. deliver and assemble for you. But one of the trends we're finding is that a lot of the retailers are, are creating designs of furniture pieces that can be added on to over time. Uh -huh. So if you have children and you know you're going to be moving or you, you're going to be expanding your family situation, you can add on to the piece like this plasma TV wall unit. I love you can unit. get it from $1,500 to $3,000 okay. and you can add these pieces over time. Jennifer, can you ever ask for a discount? 
Yes, and more than 85% of the 500 stores I interviewed, those retailers said they'd give the same discount of about 10 to 15% as they would give to uh, interior design. I have never in my life asked for a furniture discount. What's wrong with me? I bet well, most people don't. Most people don't, and it's hard to do that with the big lifestyle stores like Crate yeah. and Barrel and Pottery oh, Barn. Yeah. But local retailers, if you're afraid to ask for discounts, you can ask for things like free assembly or local delivery, and you'd be surprised a lot of them will come over and, and put it together and go the extra mile for you. Jennifer, so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. And for more information, Jennifer's books, uh, on her books, log on to her website, jenniferlitwin.com.